guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and in today's video I wanted to do a update and link check video. Um, I've done two of these videos so far. If you guys are interested in checking those out, I'll leave them up here in the cards for you guys to look back and see how far I've come. Also, I'll list my I think it's the Big Chop video, which was about three years ago. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave that up there. Today's video is just going to be me talking to you guys about how everything has been going um, for the past six months. Also a link check, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure to keep on watching. So, um, like I said, I haven't done the, this type of video in about six months. So, as you can tell, my hair did grow a lot. This is actually a wash and go. All I did was basically put conditioner and some um, olive oil gel in my hair and this side is a little bit shorter because it dried faster and this side is, I don't know, this always happens. Like one side looks weird, <laughs> one side looks perfect so I can't, can't do nothing about that. So I think I would like to go over things that have changed since I last spoken to you guys about my hair. I've dyed it, I believe I dyed it in October and um, pretty much I wanted to get more blonde um, and I just basically, the roots of my hair is just a little bit more lighter as you can see and my new growth is growing in because my roots are a brown, dark brown color so I, <coughs> me personally, I don't like the color. I like that I have light, light hair. So yeah, so that's what I did. I also have been, um, I straightened my hair twice. I'm lying. I straightened my hair three times this year. I straightened it in April. You guys saw that video. I straightened it on Thanksgiving. You guys saw that video. I also straightened it, um, I believe again, like a week later. Um, after Thanksgiving. So I do want to tell you guys that I do have some heat damage and that would just be on my, um, what do you call it? My edges per se, but um, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see if I can show you guys. Like, I don't know if you can see that straight line and then curly, um, that, and I just have a lot of that like in this area, so I'm not gonna do nothing about that. I'm just gonna let it grow. I really don't care a lot about the heat damage. It's not gonna, you know, make me cry or anything like that. I'm just gonna let the heat. So that is an update on heat damage, color, straightening, all that good stuff. So I also want to talk about some new products that I'm using. I actually found a new product from the dollar store first. It was down south in North Carolina because I am from New York. And then I just recently, so I came up from down south up here about two, three weeks ago. So I am happy about that. So basically, let me show you what it looks like. But it's this thing right here. It's the Lusty Olive Oil Styling Gel. So I like this a lot better than the normal styling gel that I use which is the clear one that I always use because this one doesn't leave my hair crunchy and hard it leaves it kind of I'm gonna say like a basic hold where the other one is a maximum hold so I do use this if you guys are wondering what this is I'll leave it in the description box so if you guys want to pick it up it was only a dollar at the dollar store this um, is actually fast drying no flaking and like I said, um, it has about a medium hold. So if you're looking for that for your hair, I would go for that so like I can move my hair and not have a problem, but also have definition when I want to do a wash and go. Okay, like I said, I've been actually co-washing with this. You guys heard a lot about this. This is like my holy grail. Um, I don't think I'll ever stop using this. This is what I used to co-wash. It's the Tresemme. Professionals Curl Hydration for Curly and Wavy Hair, the conditioner. So I use this when I want to wash my hair. And if I want my hair straightened, I do use shampoo. And if I'm gonna use shampoo, I'll use the Shea Moisture, I believe the Coconut and Hibiscus line. 
their shampoo to actually get everything out of my hair for styling. And the last thing that I've been using, you guys probably heard about this too, I'm not sure, but it's the Mazzani uh, H2O. This is a deep conditioner. So this is actually only for salon use, but I use it. This will get your hair like completely, completely like back from the dead. I swear by this. Um, so if you want to pick this up, it's probably like a beauty supply store um, or maybe like Sally's or um, there's another store that you need to have like a um, cosmetics license for or you can just get it on Amazon. So if I find it on Amazon, I'll leave it in the link for you guys down below in the description box. So that's basically, <laughs> that's basically it for my hair update. I don't have any complaints other than, like I said, some um, heat damage from doing a back-to-back -back, um, straightening session in November. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the length check. So if you guys don't know, the last time I did a length check, it was about seven months ago, so I'll start from the normal places. So we'll start. I think I could stretch just a little bit more. So it stops like right, right at my chin. And then we'll do over here, cause like I said before, I don't know what it is behind my ear. It grows so, so long. So we're gonna go like right here past my collarbone, roof of my head, you guys can't see it, but right there, let me see if I can do my ear, because this is where the heat damage is, this is by my ear, and it goes right here. So that's that. I also wanted to bring up my curl pattern. I don't know how they normally do this, but it's easier to show when you have a wash and go because you can see like in its true form what it looks like. Um, I don't know if I told you guys before, but my perimeter of my head is loose, the back of my head is loose, the back here in my, like the back of my head is thick, and up here is the problem areas where it's thin. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I have, this is probably like 3C, 3B hair. This is so difficult. So like that, that's like 3B, 3C hair. I have like right here. So you guys don't think I'm lying. Here's on the other side. Very, very loose. All right, and let me try this side. And like I said, around the perimeter, that's where it usually coils up very, 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 very much. So, like that. So I'm thinking this is like a 4A texture. If you guys know what it is, let me know. And the nape of my, my head, which is the middle of my head, is probably like a 4B. So, I have no idea. So, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my, my three year, one month update video for you guys. This is my three year anniversary. I am never going back to the perm. I said that last time, but believe you me, I am never going back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week with a new video.